Welcome to Focus Sport, this is the Olympics News Wrap. Kia ora, I'm Shuri Kinnear and New Zealand's quest for a medal continues. Swimmer Lewis Clerbert had a chance yesterday to get on the podium, but it wasn't to be. Plenty more opportunities to come though, even some today. So let's take a look at how it all unfolded as well as the rest of the news from day three. Lewis Kleber missed the golden opportunity when he finished seventh in the 400 meter individual medley. He was in front during the backstroke but fell off the mark after struggling to keep up in the breaststroke and freestyle legs. I mean, I was gutted, you know. Um, I could tell that on the last 100 metres, you know, I was there with the guys. Being in the middle of the pool, you know, I had a pretty good advantage being able to see most of the other swimmers. So I could see that I was sort of up in the mix. And then um, I could also see everyone passing me in that last 50. So um, I, my lungs were pretty much gone. <laughs> um, the body was sort of freezing up and I guess it's the lactate that just, you know, it hits you pretty rough when it when it does hit you so I guess that's the easiest way to explain it it's just the the piano falls and you sort of go with it. Yeah really disappointing but Lewis you did amazing and we're all super proud of you and we'll have another chance at that elusive swimming medal today after 17 year old Erica Fairweather qualified the fourth fastest time in her heats to make the final. Her time also broke the New Zealand record. Emma Twigg enhanced her case for gold, powering into the women's single scale semi-finals. She blitzed the field and despite cruising the last 500 metres, still finished seven seconds faster than Switzerland's second place Janine Gamelin. The Black Sticks women claimed a massive 3-0 win over world number two Argentina. The victory was achieved without a number of key players, but their defensive resilience and clinical attack secured the upset victory. Meanwhile, the men followed suit to stun Spain 4-3 in their second game of the tournament. Surfer Ella Williams got off to a stunning start in pressing in her opening heat of the competition, finishing second behind American Caroline Marks. Billy Stearman also advanced to the round of 16 after going through the elimination round. To canoe slalom, Rio silver medalist Luca Jones stormed to third in the K1 heats with a stunning second run. The Ollie Whites suffered a disappointing and somewhat strange defeat to Honduras. After leading for most of the match, they conceded two late goals in the final 15 due to costly errors, losing in the end 3-2. Sam Meach, the first Kiwi sailor in action, had to settle for 19th after an unconvincing start in his first laser race, with the second postponed to today. And Michael Venus and Marcus Daniel got their campaign underway with a straight sets victory in the men's doubles. In international news, Argentina won't be winning any medals for sportsmanship this year after an unprovoked attack from one of their hockey players at the end of a game against Spain. Lucas Rossi shoved his stick at the back of Spain's David Allegri's face while he was lying on the field. That looked like a nasty hit. Golfer Bryson DeChambeau was forced to withdraw from the Olympics after testing positive for COVID-19. And Australian tennis star and world number one Ash Barty suffered a shock loss in the first round of the singles draw, going down in straight sets to Sara Sorebez Toromo. So let's take a look at the medals table so far. China stay in the lead with six golds, a silver and four bronze medals. The US are on the board and so are South Korea. And hopefully New Zealand will be joining them soon with some more chances at the podium today. The triathlon gets underway at 9.30. Our first medal chance there with Taylor Reid and Hayden Wilde in action. Erica Fairweather swims the 400 metre freestyle final in the early afternoon and our surfers are back in action. There's a medal chance up for grabs for Anton Cooper in the mountain bike and the Black Sticks women will look to back up yesterday's big win when they play Japan. Well, so much happening, it's getting really busy, but yet so much more to come. And, and arguably our female rowers, they've put up some of the best performances so far, almost ensuring some gold medals are on their way. And as mentioned in the news, Emma Twigg has made a solid start for her quest for gold in what could very well be her last Olympic Games. We called up with her earlier in the year to chat about her career and that hunt for a medal. 
fourth twice is pretty much the dud result <laughs> for two Olympics running so I'm certainly going there to, to, to do my best and I know that if I'm in the best shape of my life I'll be standing on the podium. Um, not many people get to call this their job and I feel like I'm really privileged to be doing it and so long as my body is able and I'm still at the front of the pack, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it up. So you're not quite at the stage of saying this is your last Olympics? I mean it could be and, and you never know, you never know when an injury or illness could, could end it as well. So I'm certainly going to Tokyo thinking that it could be my last and want to make the most of it. Um, but I'll never, never say never and I've been caught out before retiring a little bit prematurely so. <laughs> you can watch the full video and read the feature story as part of our 12 to watch series on the New Zealand Herald website with premium access. Well, yesterday it was a historic day for our surfers as they finally became Olympians when the sport featured in the Games for the first time ever. And Ella Williams has given us a sneak peek at what things have been like behind the scenes. looks like they're getting up to lots of fun despite all the restrictions and everything it still looks like a really awesome experience for them even when they're not out there surfing. As we embark on day four the New Zealand Herald has you covered. Stay up to date with when the New Zealanders are competing and how they're doing with our real-time Kiwi Games tracker and find out more about our athletes and teams with our interactive schedule. Simply click on a name to look at their bios, past games performances, upcoming events and medal chances. Plus, you can catch live commentary of key events on News Talk ZB, the official radio broadcast partner of the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. We'll also have expert analysis on the DRS and Sports Talk, as well as our daily Olympic podcast, Tokyo in 20. Well, plenty to watch out for today as things ramp up and plenty of platforms to choose from to stay up to date. I'll be back tomorrow to wrap all of the day's action. I'm Shuri Kinnear for Focus Sport. Thank you.